Hello friends, Yossi Kaplan here, your friendly Toronto Realtor. Today I want to talk to you about what's going to happen in the Toronto real estate market in 2024. So this video is about the 2024 estimates for Toronto's real estate. Well, there it goes. 2020, one, two, three, saw a wild swings of up and then down in the condo market and in the home market in Toronto, Ontario, and Canada. At this point, which is we enter in the last quarter of 2023, the market is more or less stable. There are not too many listings. The volume, the number of transactions is low. Okay, and the prices are more or less stable now. Now the prices came down from the peak that we saw a couple of years ago and they're more or less stable now. And they're about maybe eight to 10% less than what they were about a year and a half, two years ago. Now that happened obviously because of interest rates are being cranked up. So when interest rates are up, what happens is prices have to go down because the amount of free money people have is less, but people still building, okay? Now, on the other hand, Canada has a huge stream of immigration coming in and those people need beds, they need rooms, they need houses and condos to live. They don't all have to live downtown, they can live other places, but most of the condo units are built most of the volume that is built is built in the core in Toronto proper. Now it could be a bit east of the core, north of the core, west of the core, obviously not south, that's a lake, but that's what it is. So most people will go into the large cities. Hamilton is seeing this, you know, Calgary and so on and so forth. The prices you see for new construction in Toronto Maybe if you can find something for 1300 a foot, but most of them will be 1500 and up. Now that is about 50% more than what you can buy the same size condo in an existing building. I'm going to say that again. The prices for pre construction, got some kids playing here, the prices of pre construction about 50% more than what you can buy a used condo, an existing condo or a home. Why is that? That is because the cost of construction has risen to at least a thousand dollars a foot to the developer. And that's just the construction. That does not include other costs. So the developer, once they put all the costs in, and the profit margin, they're not doing this for free, you're gonna to get to 1500 to $2,000 a foot. So that's where these prices are coming from. Now, everything depends on interest rates. I don't believe the interest rate will go up every, even more. That will completely kill the economy, depose the government. People are gonna be very angry. That's probably, that's not a popular move. I, I, I can't imagine it being ha happening, okay? What I see happening is the interest rates will be stable, means they'll keep them around what they are now, and then start reducing them hopefully 2024, 2025. Another thing that could happen is we'll have a change in mind, a change in government, things of that nature. 